This is my usual celebration in Rome. Good morning guys and welcome to my highly confusing vlogmas. Uh, so today we have uh, Sunday 11th of December and I'm in Rome. Yesterday I flew in here and I had my appointment, my secret appointment. It went very well, very lovely. And because yesterday I actually slept uh, pretty much only in the plane, uh, so I just, you know, when I got home, I had dinner of course, and I got home and I just, you know, passed out on the bed. So, and uh, there is uh, clearly and obviously no uh, vlogmas uh, from yesterday. And I just took a couple of clips when I was uh, there on my appointment, but that's gonna happen uh, later when I show you all about it. I guess uh, you can guess what probably by now what is it i never put my cream in that uh, for that long but now when i talk to you it apparently takes so long uh, so it's not that uh, i'm you know my skincare takes forever but uh, yeah that's because i'm talking and also by the way uh, another beauty tip uh, that you can easily use your face cream for under eyes just don't put it too much and don't put it very very close to your eyes because then it might like you know move and go into your eyes <coughs> excuse me but there is no problem and no you know nothing that will you know stop you from using eye cream uh, or face cream under your eyes uh, it's like kind of one of the beauty uh, industry i guess tricks to play on people and usually as far as i know the um, eye creams they are less concentrated uh, but i still use them i still like them and i don't mind to pay for this but uh, just if you want to know or if you don't want to pay for them you can easily use face cream and my face cream today is this one it's Orga uh, origins uh, ultra hydrating energy boosting cream um really like it i'm actually finishing it so probably will not make its way back to iceland uh, but yeah i really actually enjoyed this cream i don't know what it's about it, it gives good moisture and it gives um like if i put it on the night time is it the day cream anyway like you know uh, that's how i do my beauty uh, routine i'm not uh, you know i believe in products that should work not that much about what uh, you know stuff is set on the package or what you should do according to the marketing so uh, yeah you know if it's supposed to moisturize it doesn't matter if it's a day or night cream it will moisturize anyway uh, my take on the beauty industry not that i hate i actually uh, love the beauty industry and a fun fact that i wanted to study uh, chemistry of like cosmetic chemistry but uh, it didn't uh, exist pretty much uh, anywhere near there was like one place where i could uh, study i think it was pharmacy and then there was some you know uh, later specialization or some like you know uh, major that you could do in cosmetic chemistry it, it was not available so i didn't so i went to chemistry of engineering by the way so anyway doing very well on finishing the products and not needing to carry the bottles back uh, the foundation nothing really fancy again even though i quite a lot of use products like clinic or clinic that's kind of my favorite brands for foundations but uh, i got back to this kind of drugstore makeup maybe a couple of years ago i think i was in some kind of sale or some outlet and then i saw a bunch of you know pro products for affordable price and i decided to just give them a go and actually since then i like a few l'oreal products like the foundations and uh, maybelline and this was this one was one of those that was recommended by a beauty blogger and i have also it's actually a very nice foundation uh very affordable it costs five euro and it gives you that when it dries it gives like a matte finish so actually not necessarily you actually have to uh, put a setting of uh, setting powder on it you see i'm still awake uh, uh, <coughs> you see i'm still not awake just cannot speak properly i didn't have any coffee yet so but I want to get ready and get coffee, like the proper coffee uh, outside, not um, kind of, you know, there is a machine for coffee here. I don't want that. So uh, yeah, the Catrice is a German brand and it's very affordable and they, their products are actually in general very good. Uh, if you are not from Europe, you are maybe not familiar with them. Uh, but if you are around and you, know, you walk into a drugstore and you see some of those, uh, give them a go. Uh, try them because uh, they are most of I'm not saying everything. I didn't try everything, obviously. Uh, but most of them are actually doing their job well. So 
so my uh, beauty recommendations while I'm uh, get, oh I should do my forehead, but the foundation is running out. I don't know if I can actually do full full uh, <coughs> full face uh, today with it, which is good. I'm proud of myself that I'm finishing my products uh, because I'm also one of these people that will like to finish the products, not only uh, just buy. I buy. I know I, I have too many of them. I I am like you know I am maximalist in everything. Uh, but I like to finish them. I don't like to like uh, waste things and uh, also waste my money that I spend on it. And for the balance, now I'm uh, using uh, rather expensive products. Well, for the people that follow the luxury, maybe it's not the most expensive one, but it's from Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. Bought it out of curiosity uh, and it was on a discount because that's how I usually test products when they are on a discount. I go and hunt for something that is uh, interesting and then this is how I discover some interesting uh, products most of the time. Uh, so I'm not actually... <laughs> no, oh, okay, I do buy stuff that influencer recommend, influencers recommend also, uh, but that's how I do my own research, let's say. So I also quite enjoy this uh, product and it's, uh, if you use it, uh, of course it's concealer, if you use it under eyes, it lasts for a long time also. And do I need something here? Maybe I put a little bit here because probably I didn't put enough foundation. Um, so it looks, so my pores are visible and we want to pretend that pores don't exist because we are just, just flawless and have fully dulled face. So. Let's put a bit of concealer here. <clears throat> and for more glow also here. Don't follow my makeup tutorial because uh, I'm doing some random stuff today. I'm half sleepy even though it's a very, it's actually almost noon now, but I slept a long time and I woke up with migraine. Uh, well, the hectic day yesterday, flying, packing and not sleeping. Um, yeah, that's uh, the beauty of uh, living fast, I guess. Okay, now I think I need to move to the cosmetic case, which you are standing on. So I will finish my makeup and we go somewhere into Rome. Uh, so see you later. Hi guys, so I made it. So I actually managed to get outside of the hotel room, uh, which was quite of an achievement because I am so tired. Like I feel literally like a wreck. <laughs> my body is aching everywhere. Uh, I guess it's because of the travel, I had quite a lot of stuff to carry and the <laughs> airport walks were quite long. Uh, so I'm on the way to my coffee, wearing exactly the same outfit like yesterday. Uh, not the jacket was different, but my Balmain shirt, and jeans and white sneakers and Prada. Uh, pretty much because I am too lazy to figure something else and this is appropriate for the weather and it looks good, so that's the look and by the way, uh, here we have maybe less glamorous side of Rome because if you are not staying like like right in the you know busy shopping area and the you know monuments and stuff, then actually Rome can be quite ugly. <laughs> seems like weather got much better. there is actually sun coming out, and I don't have my any of my four pair of sunglasses that I have here. Uh, because I didn't expect any sun. <laughs> yeah, like so. Yeah, the weather. I, I don't remember if I told you before. Weather yesterday was pouring rain. It was horrible. And actually, and the weather forecast uh, predicted that it's gonna be horrible today as well. But uh, Italy doesn't uh, disappoint me, and it changes mind. And we have at least nice and you know sunny weather, even though it's not that warm, of course. But it's uh, pleasant. So. Thank you to Italian gods. Well, I'm on the main train station in Rome and they have this shopping gallery. Quite cool things. Uh, look at this puffer jacket from Tommy. I love it. Uh, however, I never wear the short jacket. 270 euro, but it's amazing. Love the green. I walked into Kiko, which is Italian cosmetic brands. Uh, at uh, the time it was very popular, don't hear much about them. The Christmas collection is so beautiful. But I'm looking for a palette, like a travel palette basically. Just 
tried this blush and what I got, uh, you know, a makeup brush to try. It looks beautiful, but I actually have glitter and it's not so easy to work with. So, no. Did some a little shopping on the train station, like, you know, the shopping mall attached to it. And now when it gets it's dark, I'm going to the town, like, to the shopping area, basically. Uh, because they have beautiful Christmas decorations and I wanted to like have a Christmas decoration tour with you Fendi here in Rome uh, they have the flagship store in that you know main shopping area and they have such a beautiful Christmas tree made of baguettes uh, and it's like a light nap it's uh, yeah I will show you but I was trying to take a picture yesterday and it doesn't really show the real color hopefully I can adjust it in the like post-production because it's like a neon green really beautiful really like you know uh amazing amazing so yeah we are going to do a christmas decoration tour in rome and then probably i will also go to fontaine de trevi because that's uh, relatively close to the shopping area and that's like one of my favorite spots and there is my favorite ice cream shop also there so yeah wow so many birds look at this wow Never seen so many birds. Here we have a, one of the many beautiful buildings in Rome. Uh, it's close to the main train station uh, or like the central station. Uh, my friend Lucy told me what is this, but uh, I forgot. But it's a very beautiful, and I should go inside. Yeah, that's what she said. It's very beautiful inside, but of course, too late probably for today. So that's the plan for today, for today evening and I have to get back uh, relatively early because I need to repack and I'm leaving super early tomorrow. I hate this super early flight. Uh, so uh, yeah, so let's go to see and I put my header down but I don't think it looks very flattering so maybe I have to put them up again. So this is one of my favorite crossroads on the way to the shopping area, at least from the type from the place that I usually stay around the central station. Here we have Dior. Look at the decorations. Oh, they are really over the top and I love it. I love it. Like so beautiful and so artistic. I love Dior. And here we have the Spanish steps. So this is actually the place where the Valentino show took place. I think it was last summer, like the big pink uh, fashion show from Vill Valentino. So this is the place where they had the show. The Spanish steps. Ciao! So the steps are here and on the other side we have apparently a famous fountain which I have no idea what it is named and here we have the big shopping street or like the main shopping street and here we have like Dior, there is this Prada on the other side, the Gucci and down there like you have all of them like Louis Vuitton, Hermes, everything. Guys, I didn't notice that it's full moon or almost full moon and it's visible over there behind. Like, what a beautiful scenery we have. And here is the Christmas tree from the Fendi boutique which I told you about. It's made of baguettes and it's lighting up in neon green. And it doesn't actually flash like color like it shows on the video. this so a random restaurant and 
it is literally everywhere like this everywhere so beautiful full of christmas lights this is the luxury shopping mall here in rome arena center uh, look how beautiful it's showered with christmas lights i love it of course we have all the luxury stores here my favorite really like this back at back and now it's in white even cuter than the black oh that looks like a new bag I haven't seen that before it's like a velvet with this pattern interesting some Bottega Really nice. Cute, cute. Also a card holder with that shiny gold. More gold. Okay. A very sexy bag with me, I know. At this little baby I said I don't like the jolly bag but hello I might change my mind no I'm kidding I'm not going to buy it but really cute like it oh, I don't like it like it some older bags and shoes look at this Is another one. Oh, I see. Let's look at this. This one is some like wrinkled well leather. The other one is like this. Actually, the wrinkled leather is nicer. Mm -hmm. Here we have Balenciaga. Rather empty. So this is my favorite uh, gelato shop in front of the Fontaine de the Trevi. And I always come here to have ice creams. Uh, look at the decorations. This is so, so beautiful. Uh, I love Rome during Christmas. We came here last year for uh, New Year's Eve and like wow, it's just, it's just purely gorgeous. So my choice is always pistachio and oh that looks good too. And this cherry which is called Amarena, it's like a, I don't know, cream, uh, like vanilla or some kind of you know, white base with this cherry sauce. This is so so delicious. This is my usual celebration or my moment in Rome. I always come there for ice cream, a huge ice cream, and I eat this in front of uh, Fontaine de Trading, so I'm trying to show you. Even though it's raining like today. But tradition has to be done. Prada bag got ice cream on it and I'm running to the toilet now to take care of it so that's how you end up when you enjoy life too much so I gently uh, run water through the mark and wow you cannot even focus on the shine and I'm looking the satin because the crystals of course are easy to wash but I'm trying to make sure that there is no ice cream on the uh, setting left because if it dries out it will be very difficult to remove but it seems like it's all good and then I dry the bag just gently pressing the tissue paper or toilet paper something that is so well done Prada so I stay in the bag with Italian gelato and I actually successfully have removed it all this bag is amazing 
So well done me, I even managed to get that jot on my coat, but uh, I have already removed it. So just in case uh, you are like, you know, having trouble, so maybe that's that's some kind of tip. But if you have something like a special ice cream on some items, the best thing, because thankfully ice creams, they don't have too much fat in them. They are mostly like sugar. So I always put the item like under running water, but not everything I try to like just make the water to like run through it and like wash off the, the stain from the material and then I always gently dry it with a paper so I don't leave it wet but I will take like paper uh, how can I show you that so I just take the the stain which now is not here anymore but I take it like this and then I try to run water as delicate as possible through that stain uh, until I see the stain is not there and then I take a uh, paper, like toilet paper, tissue paper, and like squeeze the water out of it. And possibly, so I try to squeeze it as much as I can because paper will absorb and uh, it's less likely that I will see like the shape of the, like you know, the edges of the stain. And also, it will be less obvious when we walk outside that it's full of stains. I think I've done a okay job here. Tried some perfumes, like she showed me this one. It's gorgeous. I'm getting it next time and also love it. So lovely. I wanted to get this uh, pink case with a lipstick, but they didn't have the pink one. But I got one of the holiday set and it's absolutely beautiful. Haven't seen it online before, so oh, nice. See, these days everybody is doing crystals, even Ferragamo. Nice. The fluffy tote bags. Oh, so cute. Oh, that tiny one is so cute. I am not a fan of actually the tote bag uh, because I don't like this large lettering on it. The first time around I saw it, I thought it was cute. But now, no, I said I'm not a fan. But I can do with this tiny label that holds back. More crystals, this time this is Stella, Stella McCartney. Uh, some other bags there. The lower corner here is very small but the flagship store or the main store is very big. So Loewe. Uh, seems like Loewe didn't make crystals. Valentino. So they have some cool crystal bags. Uh, it seems like bringing more. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, gorgeous. And something more normal. And some sequins as well. And here I noticed something very interesting in Gucci. Look at this. The lilac. How cool is that? Should I try? May I try this? Of course. Yeah? Lilac, lilac yeah. Lilac. Inside is a microfiber with a straight effect. You have a zip pocket in the back. Mm -hmm. You can carry this on your shoulder like this. Mm -hmm. I love your product. Man. This one is crazy gorgeous. The best bag, I love it. Let's try the beauty. And here she is. Oh. So, very beautiful. Very summery color. Not sure why they brought it now, but gorgeous. Don't we agree? And the lining inside is microfiber. I'm quite sure it's different than it used to be. And this a new collection cashmere uh, scarf. 690 euro and it's like a grey with pink but it's like a little pur purplish pink. Um, very very nice, very like pink but soft. And that's the second side of it. Feels very good. Here we had Gucci and the new bags, uh, the empty Balenciaga. 
Wait, look at this. Look at this. Wow. Uh, how much are these cases? Should I splurge? Like I reached 1000 subscribers on YouTube recently, so I think it deserves some. Uh, this baby. Oh, this baby. We also have this version in black, in white crystals. Love this one too. That's a headband. I was quite sure it's a belt. I'm wondering if it's possible to make it into a belt. That could be something, right? I still don't know the price of it. I'm quite sure when I see the price, I will not be so excited anymore. But now I have a total look. I try to put my hair down so we can see how it would look. I think it's too thick. I think I would have to have like you know this kind of you know blow dry with. A big top or oh, maybe not this is so cute how does it look on the back yeah not so good especially with my hair it's not so fresh but does it look weird that it's standing like this hmm. no maybe not okay so beautiful i should have run away from here before i spend the money on it you want some chest by prada here we go. Oh, some Christmas decorations. Ooh, that's even cooler. Oh, wow. This one I would even like, uh, taking into account that I don't play this, but uh, it's so beautiful. My boyfriend would love this actually. Here we have some fluff. Ooh, so cute. And look at this. Who is here? The lilac and the pink. I'm telling you that if you want crystals ba crystal bags from Prada, you have to come to Rome because for sure they will have it all. OMG. <sighs> I kind of regret I didn't buy that lilac version when it was 1400. Oh my god, stunning. Prada, what are you doing to me? And you know, it's so relaxed here, nobody bothers you. I'm walking around, taking videos, trying bags, taking them from, from shelves. And they're just so nice and polite. Uh, should we try the pink one as well? But if I buy the next one, I think the next one would be the lilac. I think there is something about the shine on the lilac version that it sparkles very strong like the sparkle is very strong stronger than on this uh, pink let's see them together actually Ooh, wait 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 see here have you seen it Ooh, la la Ooh, what and it seems like they have the periwinkle over there so what do we say? I'm telling you, the lilac has the biggest sparkle. Wow. See, the white, the one that I have, uh, and the lilac, they have the biggest amount of shine. And like the pink one is not as shiny, as not reflecting as well as the pink. Here we have my uh, bucket bag, which sometimes I see in the outlets, actually in the outlets, the logo is uh, either like this in, uh, embroidery or something like this or there is like a gold Prada not the triangle so probably that's the difference between this and uh, 
also comes in white. In Rome, in Italy, you will find a lot of that kind of leather shops, like this one. And I walked into another one and I switched myself. By the way, I got scammed with cafe latte in Italy again. I ordered McDonald's and it was supposed to be it. Uh, milk with coffee because I, they don't consider a latte as a cup of latte as a coffee and I ordered coffee with milk according to the receipt and I received only warm thought foamed milk <sighs> anyway back to the leather stuff uh, so in those shops you can buy uh, according to them it made in Italy bags uh, which are leather of course and they are really really you know cheap because the prices for simple like camera style bag will be probably from like 25 30 euro maybe more so like 40 and i don't know 60 70 euro so you can get those and i look at some of these bags and i actually look at the quality of them and you know i have to tell you that the quality is actually not bad the quality is like the leather and the stitching is really okay what is not what is look at this decoration by the way behind me what sells the bag that is not you know designer bag it's actually the hardware the hardware is a little flimsy and uh, not so heavy and not so doesn't feel like quite hardware but some of them were <laughs> looking very good um yeah and very colorful like some of them they had leather which was dyed but i mean at least it looked like you know very good dye because it was very juicy like i look at the purple and the, there was also like a tiffany blue or some kind of you know turquoise blue i was literally tempted to buy it <laughs> so yeah so you can have a look there also like if you are not only about the label and you want some you can uh, i have actually one of these uh, at home a camera back style uh, so maybe i should put it into a test and like wear it and see <laughs> where the quality comes like you know what we think about it it's good good idea i should do that because i bought it uh, probably over a year ago but i have never used it really uh, not because i don't like it but when you buy so many bags i mean i'm really like buying so many designer bags since uh, <laughs> since i got out of iceland after covid so i mean i don't even get time to enjoy all of the designer bags that i bought so not to mention all the other bags that i have or like you know some random not designer bags that i bought so yeah so that's my story so that's all for today uh it's nine they are closing the stores so i better go home and it's actually i'm going home much later than i was expecting to uh, so yes yeah, so many beautiful things here in rome and seriously prada is the best shop in uh, i think i don't know i haven't been too much prada uh, in prada in, in milan but in rome when i come to rinascente like you get all the crystal bags like they can get you anywhere anything pretty much so yeah definitely if you are on a crystal bag hunt come to prada in rinascente in rome <laughs> So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I think it was very enjoyable with all these crystals that we have seen here and all these beautiful things. So uh, thank you for staying with me. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye.